We're here in Minori at the moment. Um, we were supposed to be going to the mountains this morning. That didn't actually work out. Um, but while we were in the area, I actually thought that it might be a nice place to come over here because I'm not usually in front of the camera, but I wanted to today mainly because here in Minori is actually quite like a, it's a special place for me because my family name from my father comes from Sicily, but from my mother's side and where the majority of my family actually comes from, um, that I see, uh, they all come from here, from Minori. A five minute drive away from where we were staying in Maiori. During the summer, Minori on the Amalfi Coast draws a large number of tourists with its beautiful archaic buildings toppled on top of each other that sprawl up the mountains and overlook clear blue waters. My first visit here was over 17 years ago when I was very young and I remember bits and pieces. I walked the streets that my great grandparents ran through when they were children. I went to the little piazzas around the town where my family would gather to eat. And now here, I can fully appreciate the value of this place to me. So we have Avicella, which is a super famous name here as well, but another super famous name, which is also part of my family, is Trofimena. Now Trofimena is this, the Basilica of Trofimena. It's actually quite an important basilica here, um, especially in Minori, but most of Naples as well. But the cool thing about it, which is actually really going to be really fun for me as well and really nice for me to film, is that my great-great-grandmother, my great-great-grandfather, my great-grandfather, my great-grandmother, my, my great-auntie, one of my other aunties, all of them baptised here. The veneration of Santa Trofimena, virgin and martyr, has a long tradition. Her body has been preserved in Minori since 640 AD and is known as the protector of the village. Hagiographical tradition describes her as a daughter of a nobleman who, in turn, wanted her to marry another suitable nobleman. Tofimena refused the proposal for the sake of purity and enraged, her father proceeded to attack and mortally wound her. Although her relics are in the crypt, some details of the story are more widely considered to be a legend. A 17th century historian from Minori, G.B. Daflito, chronicles a rather interesting version of her story. The virgin saint knew that, staying at home, she could disobey the strong will of her father, and inspired by God, she escaped from her father's house. Her father, however, followed her and eventually caught her near the river Bocca in Tinaro, four miles away from the city, today known as Bocca of Marinello. He continues to write that just before her father was going to beat her, an angel sent down by God came down, opened its wings, covering the entire water of the sea so the saints could jump onto them, thus providing the method of her escape and therefore being saved from her persecutor. The devotion to the saint is still deeply entrenched in society on the Amalfi Coast. Whilst being here, I couldn't help but think about how my great-grandparents might react. The joy I could maybe see on my nan's face if they knew that I was visiting our origins and sharing where they grew up with the world. Travelling is one thing, but sometimes having an experience that is somewhat spiritual can always make the journey taste that much sweeter. We inherit from our ancestors gifts so often taken for granted. Each of us contained within this inheritance of soul. We are links between the ages, containing past and present expectations, sacred memories and future promise. <laughs>